Hi everyone, I'm Christy and this is Christy Can Cook. I know how to cook. I like inventing things, um, coming up with my own recipes and things like that. And a lot of times I'll have my grandchild with me, um, helping me cook. She's been in the kitchen since she could set up and uh, she loves helping me. And she has some of her own tools, so that's fun. Um, this is going to be probably our first video. We have been filming and editing and all the things that come with it. But as time goes on, editing will get better, uh, more graphics, more cooking, more recipes, more of everything. So I hope you enjoy and stick around. Hit that subscribe button and stay with us. Let's get started. We're gonna put together the um, cornbread first and in this bowl uh, we have two cups of cornmeal, one cup of self-rising flour, um, six eggs, one cup of buttermilk, and four teaspoons of baking powder. Now Riley's gonna help us mix this together. Um, she loves to cook and she is now seven years old and she's been cooking with me since uh, she was probably one and a half or two and most of her jobs have been mixing. She's not allowed to chop yet but she does love to cook and she's going to mix up this cornbread. This video is going to be over the course of two days because I like to make the cornbread on the first day and get the chicken ready and get it deboned and all that stuff before we go ahead and make the recipe um, the dressing on the next day so you'll see uh, when we put it all together but she loves to help and we're gonna get to mix in hopefully soon because she just likes to talk she thinks she's a youtuber now anyway because I do film us sometimes but uh, she says she's gonna be famous so we'll see about that <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to take us just a little bit because she likes looking at the camera and talking instead of mixing but here we are we'll just let her keep it going we're going to chop up um, our veggies. Now you'll see me chopping the onion but I do um, a, a, excuse me, a carrot and celery too to put in with the whole chicken. So now I'm going to chop up this onion. Whenever I boiled the chicken I put in onion, celery, and carrot like I said but this onion I saute um, a whole onion in one stick of butter and let it get soft and translucent because we're going to add that Hopefully this video you will enjoy it. Um, it's our first video so it can only get better from here, right? Hopefully it does. Um, we have a lot of good ideas and we have filmed quite a bit uh, before this to get us going. But um, the editing is crazy, but we'll get there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, it's a really, really good recipe. It uh, came out of an Alabama Living magazine because we're from Alabama. We get that from our co-op, our electric co-op, once a month. And it always has really good recipes in it. I've bought their cookbook before because um, I buy all cookbooks because I collect them, which is a bad habit. But still, you get a lot of good ideas. And these are from you know, people that uh, live here in Alabama and use the co-op for their electric. So we enjoy seeing maybe some people that we know and recipes in that book. Well, magazine, not quite a book. chopped and in our pot with our chicken we're gonna season it up a little bit um, I use granulated garlic because that's what we like I don't prefer the powdered garlic 
and um, we're not adding salt we'll do some poultry seasoning um, some pepper uh, you could add anything that you usually add when you make your chicken stock or cook a chicken whatever spices that you like just add them in there and then we're going to cook this until the um, chicken is done which is 165 or better on the temperature and um, all the veggies are soft and translucent okay, this is the next day. okay this is the next day so you're going to see that i use too small of a bowl but i'll get a bigger one out anyway we crumbled up all of that cornbread that we made yesterday and we're gonna mix all the goodies together here in just a minute and um, we just this is a very I know people hate it but it's a very moist um, dressing but we like it that way if you don't like it that moist then just um, cook it a little longer in the oven now there's the chicken in the Ziploc that um, we picked from the one we cooked yesterday and that the two jars are the chicken stock that we had left from that bull and that chicken it's really flavorful and I did not strain it because I'm going to use those veggies that were in there. You'll need um, a can of cream of chicken, a can of cream of mushroom, and a can of cream of celery. And I think I used two cans of cream of chicken. Yeah. So we're going to get to mixing that stuff together. And you'll see me add just a little bit of the broth at a time because I um, it's kind of tricky you want to add enough you don't want it to be dry because it's going to dry in the oven a little bit when it cooks so you don't want it too dry and you don't want it too wet but I'll end up using both of these jars and that was about perfect oh, I gotta add the soups. do I have to mix it? of course yeah. Riley's job is mixing so she's going to try to mix this but it gets a little thick until you start adding um, chicken to dock. I'm going to move y'all in just a little bit closer so you can see all the goodies in the bowl. And we'll start adding all of our soups. she has better things to do like play on her tablet so here in a minute she's gonna get down and be gone I'll go ahead and mix everything together um, and start adding our chicken stock a little at a time because you don't want to add it all at once just a little at a time now we're adding in those onions that we sauteed and that stick of butter 
and then you want to add those before you do your chicken stock also because it's going to add some of the um, juices and uh, we need to know if that's going to absorb into it before we add all that chicken stock or if it's uh, we're going to need more chicken stock because um, that wasn't enough. And now we're fixing to add the chicken in. Um, it'll absorb some of that liquid too. So we're going to add it in and give it a good mix. At this point is where you want to taste it for any seasonings you may want to add before you put it in the pan to bake. At this point, it is the consistency that I want it to be, but I'm looking over at that jar that has just a little bit more of that um, stock in it, and I don't want to save it. I don't want to freeze it, so I'm just going to mix it right in with the rest of the veggies. dish in the world but it sure tastes darn good i hope you guys give this a try and let me know how you like it uh, if you added anything or if you um, took anything out that you didn't like and let me know what you think in the comments below so if you made it to the end i hope you enjoyed the video it was our first and we're going to have many more to come so stick around give us a thumbs up down there and let us know what you want to see next. Um, we'll have lots of good videos coming soon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.